Hi, my name is Sarah Moran and I'm the dietitian here at the Dr. Yum Project. If you or someone in your home needs to eat a gluten-free diet, the gluten-free tag is for you. Here you'll find Dr. Yum recipes that are either gluten-free or have clear and easy substitutions to make them gluten-free. Gluten is a protein that's found in certain foods and it provides structure to breads and baked goods. The foods that contain gluten are wheat, rye, barley, triticale, malt, and brewer's yeast. Oats should also be avoided on a gluten-free diet unless they are labeled as gluten-free. While oats are naturally gluten-free, they often become cross-contaminated in growing and processing, so you want to make sure to get gluten-free oats. It's also important to read the ingredients list for all food products you buy, not just breads and baked goods, because gluten-containing ingredients can be used in other foods too, like sauces and marinades. And remember, wheat-free doesn't mean gluten-free. If your home isn't 100% gluten-free, but someone who lives there is, it's important to prevent cross-contamination. Having separate cutting boards, sifters, colanders, toasters, toaster ovens, baking tools, and condiment jars can help with this. You may even want to designate a counter as being gluten-free. When eating out, make sure that you don't just look for gluten-free menu items. You also need to ask what the restaurant is doing to prevent cross-contamination. They should be using separate tools for gluten-free foods, including fryers. Some restaurants may serve gluten-free menu items because they know it's trendy, but they might not understand everything they need to do to make a gluten-free meal for someone who is gluten intolerant. So it's always important to ask. And if you have any questions about eating gluten-free, be sure to talk to your doctor or dietitian.